This is Gabriel at Florida Supercon. He just witnessed the Florida Super Championship Wrestling Show. So you. Wario. I'm a Wario. I'm a number one. <laughs> what do you like? You're a wrestling fan and you're also into the anime, the cosplay, yes, and all yes, this. Sir. What do you like about what they're doing with FSCW? I think it's really creative the way that they mix both wrestling and comics. Um, but it's not just that, they have amazing talent and they know how to interact with the crowd, they know how to put on a great show. I, I, I think most people, like I, I notice, they don't really like to interact or big, to, like it, there's just something, I'm kind of at a loss for words because it's something that I think you have to experience to really know what I'm talking about. The way that they interact, the shows that they put on, the matches, they, they, these are people who know what they're doing, they love what they're doing, and when we fans give them what, what you know, the praise for doing that, it's, it's something magical, it's something awesome. So, yeah. How does it compare, or does it even compare to something like what you might see on TV, whether it be a TNA or a WWE? Okay, for, okay, okay, let's, I didn't want to go on that, but then I'll touch on this then, because I notice a lot of people in the ring, I, I, I think they really more connect with the fans like at different meets or different stuff like that. But I don't know, I mean, from my personal experience, being there live in the ring, when you yell at them, like these independent wrestlers, they live off the fans, you know, we drive them. I mean, they also have their jobs, but you know what? Every wrestling fan, every wrestler, every uh, wrestler, is nothing about his fans. And I think when I watch WWE and TNA, I don't see them like high-fiving or really handshaking or, you know, really, I don't know, there, there's something. This is more personal. No, I, the, I think, I feel it's more personal. I feel they interact more with them. I, I feel, you know what? After, like, like for example, after the shows, you can see there and the wrestlers come out and you can talk to them, you can chit chat with them. You don't have to go to like an event or pay money just to chit chat. There's just something that way that they connect that I don't think professional industries really do, maybe for liability reasons or something, but I just think it's a lot more, there you go, yeah, that was the right word. It's a lot more personal. Just just being, at, just after the matches, just talking to them. It's, it's awesome, it's awesome. Who are some of the characters that you enjoy watching? Uh, Man, okay. I love the Power Rangers. Um, and they incorporated some of the original Power Rangers. Yeah, Austin St. John. The was, Red Power Ranger. Yeah, the original Red. He was there as an enforcer for the the match, the main event match, uh, Justice League, uh, Justice League of Wrestling. It was Hurricane Link, Rinero, and then Cobra. And I just liked how they had him there as an enforcer when Cobra tried to gang up on them. Um, who else do I like? I like I like Bane, Deathstroke, um, you know, Deadpool. Um, I don't think there's really anybody I don't like. I, I, it's just because they know how to put on a good show. And even you know, even the villains, the way the villains interact with the booing and uh, the, sorry, my voice cracked. My body. When the villains interact with the booing, you know, all of that, it's 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 something magical, something special. So I don't think there's really a wrestler that I don't like. It, it, they just know how to interact with the fans, and it's awesome. Like this guy, this guy right here, he's a wrestler and he's a heel. But all the time, he's one of the coolest guys, and this guy busts his ass at what he does. I got a lot of respect for this guy. But me and him will go back and forth, talking mad smack, but at the end of the day, we'll give myself a handshake up, we'll chit chat talk, like it's super cool, because that's just in the ring. In real life, these guys are some of the coolest guys you'll ever know. This guy, this is my, this is my man right here, man. This, the man, see, you scared him off. Yes. ICW George in the house. George is the man. Oh, you know George then. Oh, he knows. Okay, good. Scorpio. Is Scorpio. That's Scorpio. like Scorpio. Scorpio. All right. Thank you so much. See, like, see that? That's what I mean. Just random stuff like this. They connect with the fans, and I just don't feel. 
Okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use kind of an example. I don't know if it's the best because I understand the conventions that the, the people need to get paid. But you know, you go to Kevin Nash and to like get a picture with him or something, it costs like twenty five dollars. I don't need to pay to get a picture with them. There's just a different experience. It's something awesome. You know? I don't have to worry about that. I can chit chat and get to know them. That's it. That's all I gotta say. You know, independent wrestling. Florida Supercon Wrestling, it's the best, that's it. And you have to see it for yourselves. You have to come, it's, it's an experience, and not even the words can really explain it, you have to go and be there. You don't have to be a wrestling fan to enjoy this. No, of course, you don't have to, you can be a comic book fan, and just go and watch. There was, there was an interviewer, um, um, no, um, sorry, in the Jerry Lawler interview, there was a gentleman who told him, I'm not a big wrestling fan, but you guys put on one hell of a show. You know what, you don't have to be a wrestling fan to enjoy this. It's something for everyone. Wario, thank you so much. Wario, ah, I'm a number one.